and welcome everyone, it is me, Zellabar, also known as the Power to Do List, back for you with another video. And I just got back from work and Konami decided to drop a ban list on us and I'm not trying to look at what's already banned, but <coughs> we're going to look at this together. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and look at what cards maybe I got right, even though my ban list prediction were very slim. And going down the list, we already see Dragon Buster, the Destruction Sword, going to zero. Um, yeah, just something that many people saw coming. I did not see this coming, but I can definitely understand the decision. Uh, because Union Carrier, using this to lock your opponent out of the extra deck is definitely something you don't want to see anymore in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! So that card being gone is quite nice in Indeed, looking down here, we do not have anything new. We have Link Cross. OCG already, already had this at zero. Um, the kind of partner in crime to Crystron, Hacker Fibrax. Um, that thing going to zero was expected. Many people predicted that. I think I went a bit more timid on this one and predicted that and Hulk to maybe go to one. Um, but yeah, just banning it outright uh, definitely helps in uh, limiting Hacker Fibrex uh, power. So yeah, looking for True King. Wow! True King of uh, Calamity has actually dodged the list. That is disappointing to be honest because I really was looking for that card to be gone. Um, smoke Grenade of the Bandit. Probably something that also many people saw coming. Um, of the thief, not the bandit. Um, yeah. Foreseeable, to be honest. Looping cards on your opponent is uh, not fun. And I thought Konami would limit this card first, but they just straight up bandit. Understandable. Have a nice format. Uh, going into the limited section now. Do we have something new? No. No, we don't. Is it just going to be three bands? True King's Return. Going to two. I guess that happens. But I already see some uh, some unlimits down uh, there. Um, I don't know how good this card is for True Draco. Um, let me just take a quick look. Oh, that's rather decent. That's that's not a bad card at all. Definitely not a bad card at all for True Draco to get that back. Um, not personally my kind of deck, but definitely something that has its market. And then we probably... Oh! Yeah. Of course, I think anyone predict those two, C and Graphs, going the three. Full power Burning Abyss, uh, did nothing in the OCG and it will do probably even less in the TCG with our current format. Um, so yeah, those two going the three is definitely something that every Burning Abyss player can get behind. Evagishki Mind Orgus. Unlimited. So we're hand looping, again. <laughs> Smoke grenade of the thief just leaves the format, and here we go again, hand looping. To be honest, Gus Kraken to three didn't really change the format or anything because why would it? Um, the deck is probably less consistent than ever, even with the new ritual support and engines and all that that you can include in your ritual builds. Um, so Mind August to three probably won't change anything as well. And something that even I predicted, ABC Dragon Buster and Totally Awesome going to three, which will, I will say it right now, change my ABC deck list to include that third Dragon Buster, which will, of course, make that deck a lot more fun to play, to be honest. But in general, no limits. They just banned three cards. And I guess uh, Virtual World has more time in the spotlight now with uh, VFD not gone. Which is... Okay. 
Um, but yeah. In general, it's of course a very minimalistic list. Um, but that is fine if you look at the current format. We have a few problem cards that can definitely easily be solved and this is definitely shaping up to be much better. Still, I would have appreciated it if True King of All Calamities would have got hit because uh, that card is no fun uh, because a skill drain on a blue eyes buddy is not something I want to play against. But uh, yeah, next up, next update will probably not be before March 1st. Um, I will probably upload the straight out of the toolbox I had for tomorrow on next Tuesday, which makes my life a lot easier. And yeah, I j just hope you guys enjoyed this, me giving some casual thoughts about the ban list. Uh, definitely leave a comment what you think of what you think of the ban list. What have you gone right? What were cards you wanted to see hit? Definitely let me know and maybe we can have a little discussions in the comment below. But yeah, I will thank you guys very much for watching. Definitely leave a like, as mentioned, comment with your thoughts on this list down below and maybe subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate to have you guys around. And yeah, I hope that I will see you guys next time. But until then, goodbye.